Which emotions will prevail? Hate, anger, and cruelty, or compassion, kindness, and courage? This fictional world created by Mogami is a cruel one for many reasons. It's cruel because, well, you just hate seeing Mob in this state. Mob, he whose kindness is unwavering in this world, harbors nothing but hate and resentment. It's cruel because it's unfair. Everybody has a limit and when you strip everything from somebody, including the people they rely on in their darkest moments for six months, they're bound to break. And it's cruel because despite this being a fictional world, there's some truth to it. Actually, there's a lot of truth to it. Every single interaction Mob had in the beginning of the episode were interactions that could have easily been experienced in Mob's real life. We know this because Mogami mentions that the people in this world are behaving like they would outside of it. Also, the points Mogami makes aren't lies. Mob does rely on the people around him. Mob does rely on his psychic powers even when he's not aware of it. And yes, without these two things, Mob would have a difficult life. And I'd say that most people wouldn't be able to come to terms with the fact that they rely on others so much. But you see, Mob, he's different. He doesn't deny any of the claims Mogami makes. As a matter of fact, he can't. He can't refute any of Mogami's points because throughout the episode, they're proven. So what does Mob do? He embraces them. He accepts them. Mob acknowledges how lucky, how fortunate of a life he leads being surrounded by people that care for him and help him change for the better. This entire world that was supposed to awaken a version of Mob with nothing but hate in his heart just gave him a greater appreciation for the people around him who spur him forward and who help him become the person he wants to be. And I think this is where one of the main differences between Mob and Mogami shines, and that's their outlook. Mogami was essentially doing what Mob is doing now with Reagan, using his psychic abilities to help others. But eventually, Mogami grew tired of it and started feeling as if he was being used by people for their own gain. I think Mogami saw a part of himself in Mob, but not only a part of himself that he, Mogami, could take advantage of, but in Mob, I think Mogami saw what he could have been had he had more people around him. I think this sparked some jealousy. I think Mogami would have done anything to prove to Mob that his way of doing things is the wrong way. Because from what I can see, judging by the brief backstory we got on Mogami this episode, all he had was his mother. And not only did he lose his mother, but at the very end of it all, she abandoned him and blamed everything on him. And that left Mogami alone, alone to take all of this shit the world would throw at him. Just like Mob was doing this episode. But see, this is where outlook and perspective come into play. Yes, this world is cruel. Yes, life is frustrating. But that's not all there is to it. And if it is all you see, it's because you're choosing to only see that side of the coin. Just like how Mob's courage was able to shine in the darkest depths of fear, the smallest act of kindness can overpower the strongest negative emotions. And it's with the help of his friends, his powers, his courage, and his kindness that Mob got through the trials he faced this episode. And it's with that same kindness that Mob will go on changing himself and inspiring others to change for the better.
This episode was fantastic. It did a brilliant job at representing all of the themes that were so carefully placed throughout the first four episodes. The pacing towards the beginning of the episode was a little bit off, in my opinion. I felt like they could have spent a bit more time on Mob's interactions with his bullies. Maybe this arc could have benefited a lot more from a three episode arc rather than a two episode arc. But once you see the payoff, which is the entire second half of the episode, the pacing in the beginning of the episode is literally the last thing on your mind. All I will say about the animation is that it was fucking great and I cannot believe what I was seeing. Me personally, I'm not that well versed when it comes to animation. I just know when animation appeals to me or doesn't which is why I typically don't talk about animation in my videos, but I do know of Hakyu Go, and I know that he had a lot to do with this episode in terms of storyboarding, animation directing, and much more. So shout out to Hakyu Go, his team, and anybody else who worked on this insane episode. But hey, these are my opinions, these are my thoughts, this is how I choose to interpret the story, and I'm curious to see your thoughts, opinions, and interpretations. So in the comments down below, talk about what you liked, what you didn't like, and what you got from this episode or anything I didn't mention in the video. And if you're an anime only, let me know some of the predictions you may have. For example, we got reminded of Mob's mystery percentage this episode, possibly the mob inside the OP is referring to. So let me know what role you think Mob's mystery percentage will play in future arcs. And if you're a manga reader, let me know how you felt Bones adapted these chapters, but as always, keep your comments spoiler free. I appreciate all comments, so whatever you choose to put down there, I'll reply whenever I can. Please like the video if you enjoyed it, feel free to follow me on Twitter for updates or if you just want to interact with me. And yo, there's this chance that if you're watching this video right now, you're not yet subscribed to the channel. So make sure to hit that big red subscribe button alongside the bell. YouTube notifications are really iffy. So by clicking the bell and following me on Twitter, you're basically ensuring that you don't miss a video. That way, you can keep on watching Mob Psycho 100 and many other series with me. And with that being said, I hope you have a great rest of your day. And I'll see you all soon. Peace.